Hello YouTube, Anthony Western here. This is the battle between Megadirt 121 and me. Well, it wasn't fair, like, it was an epic battle. Like, he had an Uber, so. And, um, I'm gonna post up my red walkthrough next. Remind me if I said in the last video, um, I'm gonna level up the Pokemon in level red, in, Poke in Pokemon Red. Just to remind me. Thank you, and, um, alright, let's get started with this battle. Alright, he's using his heart gold, but, you know, he sends us notes, though, shiny, level 100 female. I sent him my main order, because I didn't know that he was going to send out first, so I'm going to, um, withdraw it and get out my Gino. He uses Aqua Jet. It does, um, not, like, you know, like, a lot of damage to that, but, well, like, Scott, that Megadar one to one did that, and I was, um, took out a bomb of snow. And now there's a hailstorm. I used leaf storm, which was a bad idea. It did a lot of damage for just a not very effective move. Sorry if the video quality is bad because um, I'm recording like this because. Well, to make the upload speed a bit faster. Alright, so I got the credit. Now I'm gonna withdraw Greeno and send on my own master. He uses Ice Shard. And. It does very little damage, like barely any. And Hill continues to fall. And I still get the credit again. Alright, he uses Wit Hammer. Super, very effective. And it does a lot of damage. Basically, killing it. I was about to use Stealth Rock. Which could have done everything. But, no, I didn't. Alright, so Hill is continuing to fall. I set on my main mortar again. Alright? And then he was drawn a bomb of snow. He sends out float zero. But I use overheat. Or yeah, I use overheat. Because I didn't predict that he did that. So it does. A lot of damage. I got the credit and didn't get that much damage from the credit. So now I was going my night mortar because it sends out my shroom dash. I use a surf, which did barely any damage. Well, like a lot. Sorry. And now the float cell dies after the hill effect. So I, so it dies. And this was a Wi-Fi battle, so it was like hard to predict or anything. So he sent out his Japanese um, mammoth, I believe, some sort of mammoth. But that mammoth uses avalanche, super effective to my shroom dash, and kills it. I sent on my main mortar. I use overheat. <clears throat> and it was super effective. Alright. And it kills it. Alright, so he fainted. And Hale continues to fall, I get prophetic again with just very little damage. Alright, he sends out his Tyranitar. 
which looked up a sensor. I've forgotten that Tyrannosaurus is a rockish type, so I use overheat by accident. And did very little damage. And my special attack fail. Perfect fail. He uses Earthquake, which is super effective to my main mortar. Does a lot of damage, doesn't kill it. Sensor affects my mortar. And does very low damage. I withdraw on it and send out my blast hose. And Tyranitar use Earthquake. Which then which is regular effective, you know, in Game Boy Edition it was super effective. I get a fair amount of damage, I get to fed it, like usual. I use Hydro Pump, which is super effective to Tyranitar. And trust me, this was a long battle. Alright, it almost kills it. He uses Thunder, because I've forgotten. He told me that his Tyranitar had Thunder, but like, I wasn't really listening. So. Let's just stay at 15 health. Paralyzed too. I get the credit. And I die. So, the next Pokemon I send out is Green Owl again. And then I use Leaf Blade to kill it. But I still get the credit from that Leaf Stone. I mean, not, I mean that sense though. What am I saying? Alright, so now he sends back out his Abomasnow. Which has low health, and it starts to hail again. Yep. So now I use Dream Punch to heal it. And to hurt it. And then he uses Blizzard, which is super effective to, you know. And kills it off. And the hailstorm continue, continues. No one gets prophetic. Now I send on my Yon Mega. And he uses Ice Shard. Well, like a bomb is not uses Ice Shard. Like. And it did a fair amount of damage. And I use Air Slash, which is super effective, and kill it off. But I'll get the feather from that Hillstorm. It is gonna come up. Now we are tied. Well, I believe I forgot. He sends out his splice score. Splice score. He's gonna set up for an attack, so he uses the sword stance many times. I use infinite power. Since that's the only move that I could use against him, this is a move sets back. All right, splice score is prophetic, and I'm prophetic too. So, Blastgar uses Sword Stance, which uses Attack again, I use U-Turn. I should go back and send on my other Pokemon, which is Mike Mortar. Not very effective. Alright, but his defense right now. And he uses a knife slash. Which kills off my Night Mortar. 
And that was just set up, so. Hill continues to use the fall, he gets defended. Now my young Mega comes out again. And he's a sword dance. Even though he shouldn't have. Now he gets prophetic. And I get prophetic. And now, Blast Bird uses Sword Dance by accident. I put it with Ancient Tower. And Blast Bird Fate. And now we are evenly tied. But, this is his regular one to ones Strongest Pokemon for this battle. Latias. Which I believe is an Uber. Alright, so... Lab Yes uses Dragon Pulse. Which... I believe kills my own Mega. Yep. My own Mega fainted. Mega Dirt 1 to 1 won the battle. So... That was in fear of... A bit. That wasn't that much of a fair battle, but I didn't really care. So I'll show you my team that I use. Oh. There it is. Right, and Mega Dirt 1 2 1 team. Shiny floats out too, so. But they don't show Shiny in the sprite right here. Oh, I don't like the focus. There we go. Alright. And stay tuned, because. Next time, I'm going to be making Pokemon Red walkthrough. I'll be fighting Blue. I might not get to the um, Nugget Bridge. And, well, like, yet to wait to next weekend because um, I have a health test soon coming up. Same thing with Blaster XLs and Nugget One to One. So that's all, folks. I'll see ya later.